Welcome back to the studio. Thank you guys for tuning into Summit Sunrise here on TV8 Summit. I'm Shauna. I'm joined with Aaron and Aaron with Red Buffalo Cafe. Ooh, yes. tell us all about Red Buffalo and thank you for joining us. Well, thanks for having me today. Yeah. Well, Red Buffalo, you know, we're so central to everything you want to be doing in Silverthorne or if you're stopping into Summit County because we're just a quarter mile north of the I-70 Silverthorne interstate exit. So if you are going to the rec center, the outlets, you're using the Summit stage, you have an event at the pavilion, we are your spot that's just gonna get you started and fueled. And new to there is the um, the new Dillon Theater, correct? Yes, the Lake Dillon Theater. Mm -hmm. And they're moving in and they have their big opening weekend coming up in June. Um, so there's a whole bunch of fun things coming up for the town really and for Red Buffalo. We have some exciting stuff that will be launching come May, but we're gonna wait just a little bit on that one. However, for coming up through April, we have our spring menu coming back, which mm -hmm. means Lavender Honey Latte will be coming back <gasps> at Easter, um, <laughs> which is a huge favorite for a lot of people. So we're so if you really like that smokestack latte that we've been doing this winter, which is our Nutella latte, it's got real Nutella lining the inside of the cup, mm -hmm. then make sure you come in before Easter before we get rid of that drink for the uh, the season. Oh, wow. It's, so you guys, that's really nice. Every season you specialize in something new, right? Yes. So what do you have going on now? And then you, you just mentioned what yeah. we're doing next. So yeah. we make a few of our syrups in-house. We also have this orange vanilla spice syrup that we make in-house. And that one's really good. It's just kind of got a little bit of spice to it. Um, and the orange just adds a nice citrus complement to uh, the Costa Rican that we brew in through our espresso. Because we have three different coffee choices that we put through our espresso grinders that we're able to brew on espresso for you every day. And that's in addition to the four that we batch brew every day and then of the 12 that you can choose from for pour over or French press. So your options are huge. And then you get into our loose leaf teas. Yes, which is... Which we have over 30 choices of loose leaf tea as well. Mm. And what we really like to do is we take great care in where we source our coffee from and our teas from. And we take a lot of time and trialing it. We try it out with different ratios. What tastes better in French press might not always taste best on espresso. And is it, you know, this many grams of coffee for that much water or more or less? And we go through all of that tasting and sourcing so that when you get your cup of coffee and you're just in zombie mode and you're just like, <laughs> that's what we are in the morning show here. Right? And, and you don't have to think about it. <laughs> that's very true. Uh, tell us about this drink. I just doing. brought you a simple latte. I oh. realize sometimes we try to get into crazy things and we forget just the plain joy of a good cup of mm -hmm. just regular latte. However, that being said, there's so many things that go into this. Yeah. But again, you don't need to know, but you like the fact that we at Red Buffalo do know, you know, which coffees you have are Pramada Guavo Sumatra, which is a cooperative Sumatra that's been mixed with our, um, our, uh, uh, I forget the name of it right now. It's uh, Copal Pomeras Costa Rican. Oh, wow. So that's a blend that's in that espresso, in that coffee. The milk you get is from Colorado Dairies. It's hormone-free, you know, and when you... But you all can, these details. But you can really taste the difference when you put quality, when you put love. Yes. And just the, the quality of ingredients and the quality of coffee is... Yeah. If you, if you want to try, I mean... If you want to get involved in the science, we are so happy to geek out. But I also totally respect the person who comes in and goes, I just need a coffee. Mm. And I go, yes, absolutely. That, that was me this morning. Yeah. I just, need, I just need a coffee. Oh, and this is so wonderful. And that's how you get started. Um, mention uh, to the viewers as well, you have a wide selection of some food items as well. We do. We have some great pastries that are delivered to us from Michelle's Bakery in Avon. Mm -hmm. We have... Uh, Bagels delivered fresh every day from Diane's Mountain Bagels. And you can try that with our salmon and capers bagel. Oh, I just and have I that. like to put avocado on it. And it's such a great filling. I chop it in half and save half of it for lunch. Yeah. Um, if you choose to do that, or you can well, eat the whole thing. Or you just share. Yeah. Because you usually are Sharing having coffee caring. with some friends. Yes. And you can sit outside. You can. It's still nice ish I today. Think, yeah. Until tomorrow. Well, yeah, until the snow And then comes we out. get winter mix, and then it'll be nice, and then it'll be snowy, so that's springtime. Yeah, but that's the nice thing. You can just sneak out to the Blue River, and it's yeah, like... our patio is so beautiful right now. Mm -hmm. I just love to enjoy our sun. We have our front patio, which looks at Thor Range, and a back patio, which is right on the river. So you really can't miss it. Yeah. And we were cleaning up the uh, river segment uh, yes, two days ago. Um, we've adopted the Blue River Trail from Rainbow Drive to 6th Avenue, just because at Red Buffalo, we are such key believers in just doing what's right. 
So we compost everything, we get it composted, uh, you know, we're a zero waste shop. I awed someone the other day because we don't use any therms or electricity to heat or air condition our, build, our unit. So huge. And so just all those little things we believe in just doing what's right. Yeah. If people want to find out more information, where are they going? They can go to our website, which is redbuffalocafe.com, or our Facebook page or Instagrams, which are at Red Buffalo Cafe. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Gosh, it's always yes. a wonderful, I always learn something new, and this is just to die for if you haven't been to Red Buffalo. It, you he, head over there, you will be very much impressed. And we'll be back after this. Yeah.